relaxed atmosphere at this private bilingual high school in Bratislava. But these students are part of Slovakia's future. 20-year-old Veronica is one of them. But she wants to leave the country and study politics in the United Kingdom. You don't have possibilities here when you compare it to other countries. At least like Vienna, which is one hour from here, and you have far more possibilities what to do in your free time, in your work life, in your studies, everything. Leaving makes economic sense. The average wage is less than a thousand euros a month. But Veronica does want to contribute to her country's future. I'm going to go out and I will see how it's functioning somewhere else. Then if I come back and try to make it here better by what I saw. At the other end of that journey is Boglarka. She spent the past decade studying and working around the world. She came back last year and works for the Ministry of the Environment. In the past 15 years, over 300,000 Slovaks have left the country. And that brain drain is a cause for concern. I'm worried that they might never come back. It's alarming that, uh, that, they, see, that they see this opportunity as uh, one way out. They feel that everything um, abroad in the Western, more Western world is, uh, is shinier, is brighter, is tastier and might be better. Dissatisfaction with the status quo helped transform anger at the killing of Jan Kuciak into mass protests that pushed out the Prime Minister. But after three months, the movement risks running out of steam. OK, this is a petition uh, for the election to happen earlier than, uh, than it should. You cannot keep the energy of people forever. So, And, and I, I feel like it's the plan of the politicians, you know? They feel like it will somehow fade away. And it looks like it's, it's really happening, so... Three months on from the killings, little progress has been made in the investigation. And while the Prime Minister has stepped aside, no elections are planned until 2020, despite the public anger.